Today, we will try to integrate e to the 2x times cosine of 3x dx. Now, there are two ways that I know of of doing this systematically. And one way is to use integration by parts twice. Integration by parts twice. And what, what is going to happen when you try this is if you let the entire integral be i, when you, when you try to use integration by parts twice, we, you are going to get some expression with i inside it. And using some manipulations, you should be able to find the value of i. But in this video, instead of using integration by parts twice, we are going to use the technique called complexifying, complexifying the integral, the integral. And if enough of you guys want me to try to do the same thing using integration by part, I will, I will make a separate video doing so. But in this video, let's focus on using the technique number two called complexifying the integral because I think you can use it to do, to do this integral fairly quickly if you know what you're doing and you, you are, you have some practice with it. And the method of complexifying the integral is very useful. If you have cosine of something, cosine of some kx, or sine of some kx inside the integral multiplied by e to the some power, multiplied by e to the some power, then complexifying the integral may be the technique that you may be able to use. And what we are going to do is by starting to realize that cosine of 3x is the real part of e to the i times 3x power. And for those of you not familiar with this, let me go through it really fast. Some of you may know that a plus bi, the complex number a plus bi, can be also written as r times e to the i data. Let me go over this very quickly. So a plus bi, when you graph it in the complex plane, complex plane is when you have the real axis and the imaginary axis to plot a complex number. So for a plus bi, the real part is a, imaginary part is the part that's being multiplied to i, in this case b. So this point is going to be the complex number a plus bi. And let's say we have some distance r from the origin, so that's the distance r, and some data from the positive real axis, so you have r and data. And using trigonometry, we can find that a is equal to r times cosine of data, and b is equal to r times sine of data. So another way of writing a plus bi is by writing r times cosine of data, which is equal to a, plus r times sine of data times i. And we can factor r out to get cosine of data plus i sine data. This is sometimes written as r times cis of data, cosine of data plus i times sine of data. So we have this. And Euler, a famous Euler's formula, states that Euler's formula, this is so important that I'm going to write it down, Euler's formula, states that cosine of data plus i times sine of data is equal to r times e, not r, just e to the i data. This theorem is so important that in the future, I think I will going to make a video proving this using some Taylor series. But we know we have cosine of data plus i sine of data right here. So we get r times e to the i data at the end. So we know a plus bi can be represented as r times e to the i data. So what do we know? We know e to the i times 3x is equal to r, which in this case r is 1 because we have 1 times e to the i times 3x. And we know this thing is equal to cosine of 3x plus i times sine of 3x from Euler's formula because co because e to the i data, e to the i something is going to be cosine of something plus i times sine of the something. So in this case, that something is 3x. So we know e to the i, e to the power of i 3x is equal to this. And we quickly see the real part. The real part of this thing is the cosine of 3x and the imaginary part. So imaginary part of e to the i 3x is equal to sine of 3x. So we know so let's think about this. We know cosine of 3x is real part of this. So let's try writing this entire integral. Let me write down the integral. e to the 2x times cosine of 3x dx. And we know cosine of 3x is the real part of e to the i 3x. 
So we know this entire integral can be thought of as a real part of integral of e to the 2x times e to the i3x dx. Because e to the 2x is real to begin with, because we are talking about real x's. So we have e to the 2x being real, and e to the i3x is complex, but the, the real part of it is going to be cosine of 3x. So we have these two equalities, and what can we do? We know, since we have two e to the 2x and e to the i3x, we can combine them. So we have e to the 2x plus i times 3x dx. And it's pretty easy to just factor out x. So e to the x times e2 plus 3i dx. And now what do we do? And you may know that integral of e to the some power, some kx dx, is simply 1 over k e to the kx. You can prove this easily using u substitution, letting u be kx. Then du is going to be k dx. So we need k dx to turn to du, so divide by 1 over k, and we get 1 over k e to the u du, and which is 1 over k e to the u, which is e to the kx. So we know integral of e to the kx dx is simply 1 over k e to the kx, so let's just apply this to this integral right here. So we have real part of we have e to the kx, in our case, k is equal to 2 plus 3i. So we are going to get 1 over k, which is 2 plus 3i, times e to the x times 2 plus 3i. Beautiful. And we wish to find the real part of this. And how can we find the real part? Well, we have this complex number dividing the entire thing. And to just make this easier to work with, let's try to make, let's try to make the denominator of this fraction real by multiplying by 2 minus 3i. Because when we have complex number in the numerator, it's easier to figure out which one's real and which one's not. So let's do so. And that should get us real part of 2 minus 3i over 2 plus 3i times 2 minus 3i is 13 because 2 plus 3i, 2 minus 3i should get us its difference of square. So 4 minus 9i squared, i squared is negative 1. So we should get 4 plus 9 or 13 down below. And we have e to the x times 2 plus 3i. And what is e to the x, e to the power of x times 2 to the 3i? Well, we can break it apart to begin with. We can break this part apart to e to the 2x and e to the 3ix because we have these two things added together. And since e to the 2x is real, let's just separate it out. So we have e to the 2x, 2 minus 3i over 13, and we have e to the 3ix on this side. And we know, we know e to the 3ix is equal to, by Euler's formula, so let's go over to this side, real part of e to the 2x, 2 minus, 2 minus 3i, 2 minus 3i over 13, times cosine of 3x, plus i times sine of 3x, because that's what e to the 3ix is. So, now we only have to pick out the real part of this expression and we should be done. And we know e to the 2x is real, so let's bring that out. We know 1 over 13 is real, so let's bring that out. So inside, we have, we have left 2 minus 3i and cosine of 3x plus i times sine of 3x. And we gotta find the real part of this. One way to get something real is by multiplying 2 and cosine of 3x. So we have 2 times cosine of 3x. Another way of getting something real is by multiplying negative 3i and i times sine of 3x because i squared is negative 1. It is real. So multiplying these two, multiplying these two gets us negative 3 i squared the sine of 3x and i squared is negative 1. So we have plus 3 times sine of 3x and plus c and we are done. So using complexif complexification technique, complexifying the integral, the answer we got is 1 over 13 e to the 2x times 3 times sine of 3x plus 2 times cosine of 3x plus c.